All right. How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Tuesday night, 10.07 p.m. here. California time, November 19, 2024 is the date. The latest activity here on the globe shows a 2.8 across the South America area. Uh, also a 2.3 here into uh, Alaska. Notice a little swarming going on there across Southern California. We'll get to that here in just a second. I'm going to show you guys the uh, massive bomb cyclone that everyone's been chatting about here recently. And it's a it's a dandy of a storm out there, rapidly strengthening, tapping into this moisture plume out here known as the Atmospheric River. Uh, we got some wind speeds just off the coast here of Eureka, uh, California, registering about 78 miles per hour or so. Certain areas may be seeing some higher regions out there. Kind of looks like a giant hurricane. Uh, but the winds just are not as strong as a hurricane would be out here. But nonetheless, going to stir up some waves. Uh, there's already quite a bit of uh, folks out there without power across Washington and Oregon. Uh, a lot of strong winds coming into the area right now. Outside where I'm at here, outside of Chico, just barely got the winds kicking up right now. That will increase overnight, though, bringing with it quite a bit of rainfall. I want to show you guys the total accumulated precipitation runs out here from the uh, latest model here. This is going to be the ECM WF model. And let's put this into about Saturday or so. We have more rain coming. Uh, the ECM WF model here is showing quite a bit of rainfall uh, across the area. Nine inches of rainfall here across certain areas of the coast range uh, up around Paradise area looking at uh, quite a bit of rain as well. Uh, Chico area going to be an iffy uh, scenario maybe about four inches or so just around uh, over the next couple days there's a little rain shadow area here around the willows area we'll see if that fills in or not and the rain shadow is the effect because of the mountain ranges over here on, along the coast range uh, all that moisture gets squeezed out misses uh, sometimes misses the willows and orland area and then reforms out here uh, so not a place not a good place to be if you like the rainfall but uh, we'll see how much that fills in uh, the GFS model here showing a little bit more aggressiveness across the entire area of Northern California. Uh, the HRR model here only goes to about, um, let's see here if I can pull this up, uh, about Wednesday or so. Doesn't quite go into Wednesday evening. So this is uh, to about 6 p.m. tomorrow. And uh, as you can see there, quite a bit of rain already falling. This is going to be a... Uh, a series of systems that are coming through here. Uh, let me show you guys the uh, satellite view out here. It's actually quite impressive. Massive low pressure up here. Spinning. Uh, check out the spin on this thing. It's actually uh, fairly incredible. I'm going to go to six hour run here and show you guys uh, this here. A lot of lightning being detected out here with the convection band. Uh, so there's a chance of some thunderstorms. We'll have to see how much uh, it stirs up. But uh, there's that line of moisture tapping into uh, some subtropical moisture down here all the way out in the central Pacific. It's uh, got a lot of moisture, no doubt. Uh, so rainfall rates will be quite uh, enormous out here. And uh, we'll just have to see how much we pick up uh, when it's all said and done. But uh, no joke, pretty serious uh, storm system out there. All right, California here got uh, a couple earthquakes in the last hour. The latest, a 2.2 up around the Bakersfield area. This is starting to fill back in again. Uh, but our main swarming area is down here off the, uh, well, actually on the Imperial Fault. Got uh, a little swarming going on here outside of El Centro. Uh, the satellite view shows us a whole lot of farmland. They get their water from up north here where we're at. Uh, through the aquifer all the way down there but uh, uh yeah look at all that farmland down there pretty crazy um i don't see anything of specific uh you know maybe like fracking or oil pumping operations out here this is just strictly uh, stress related there on the imperial fault uh, a little separate swarming up here around the brawley seismic zone as well this area had a couple smaller earthquakes in the last few days and a couple more up around the Salton Sea area. So a noticeable swarm out here um, along this area of the plate boundary that includes the Imperial Fault, the Brawley Seismic Zone. Uh, not too close here to the San Andreas Faults, roughly about 
oh, seven, maybe 10 miles or so from the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault. So I don't know if that's in the triggering zone or not. I don't think it is. It have to be a, a, just a couple miles or so. But uh, I, I do like to watch this swarming when it does stir up here because it's, uh, you know, it's obviously could turn into something bigger. We'll definitely have to watch it. Uh, but for now, got about 19 earthquakes here in the last 24 hours of various magnitudes. Uh, a couple earthquakes there above the 2.5 range. Uh, looks like the largest is going to be this uh, 2.6. A couple 2.6 is in there. So uh, just watching it. A little swarming stirring up out there. Uh, San Jacinto Fault Zone still showing some movement. Eastern areas here of the Los Angeles region. Uh, a couple ones throughout the day. Uh, so we'll see how the nighttime hours fill in. Again, we got that earthquake there around the Bakersfield area. This is the region that had that five-pointer back here a month or so ago. Actually, it's been about two months now, I, I believe. Time's just flying by. Uh, Northern, excuse me, Northern California, not uh, a whole lot going on out there right now. Cascadia subduction zone, pretty quiet. Uh, quick glance here at the trimmer map. Along the Cascadia shows zero epicenters here today, so uh, not a whole lot going on there for now. The uh, rest of the area, pretty quiet out there across the Intermountain West regions, Texas area, Oklahoma, still seeing some movement today. Uh, out in the oil fields, but really nothing new. That's almost a daily occurrence. As uh, far as anything noteworthy worldwide here, a uh, little trail of activity across the Peru Chile Trench here around the... Uh, Ecuador area uh, seeing some increasing movement up here notice these white rings here on the globe indicating uh, more recent activity so we'll watch that looks like things are starting to stir back up here across the northern edge of the Peru Chile Trench uh, latest earthquake though 2.8 down around the Chile region uh, five pointer back prior to the South Sandwich Trench here that should amplify some conditions out there across the uh, that subduction zone That'll probably fill in overnight with some type of magnitude. Don't know exactly how large it'll be, but uh, we'll have to see. Um, what takes place here overnight following this this event uh, earlier this evening. Uh, let's see here. The Atlantic Ocean, uh, pretty quiet up north. Minimal movement here across the Mediterranean and the Middle East areas. Uh, typical activity here across the crunch zone that includes Taiwan southward. Nothing major going on out here across uh, uh, the Japan area for now. We got a couple earthquakes here on the Kuro Kamchatka Trench. This area uh, I think is fairly well primed for an 8.0 or above. It's been a while since we've seen any larger scale movement out here, and I think it's coming. 4.7 uh, up there, pretty shallow right now at the subduction zone interface here of the. Uh, the Kuro Kamchatka Trench. Uh, let's see, New Zealand. Wow, what do we got going on down here? South Island rocking a little bit. Looks like a four-pointer there just off the uh, South Island coast. So let's see what the GeoNet servers are up to tonight. Uh, let's see here. Where's that four-pointer? Are they going to even show it? There we go. Four. Well, that was two days ago here. This is a fairly recent earthquake, so um, maybe they're not reporting it because of the uh, the distance. It is showing up, though, on the seismograph stations here towards South Island. But uh, let me see here. There it is, four-pointer. Way down here. It looks like uh, unnoticeable. That's why it... Uh, wasn't showing up on that previous graph here or a previous uh, page. But uh, a little bit of activity stirring up out there, it looks like. Some deeper movement underneath the North Island region here. Looks like a little hot spot going on here across the area today. Definitely want to watch that. Hawaii area, fairly quiet. Not a whole lot of uh, earthquake ha activity happening out there for now. Things uh, awfully quiet. All right, so keep an eye on things here. Southern California rocking a little bit. We'll watch that swarm, see if it intensifies overnight. Space weather activity out here on the sun. Well, 
a little bit calmer conditions out here, seeing some uh, sea flare activity. 10% chance here for an X flare. M flare at 60 or uh, 50. C flare around 99% chance or so. There are a number of sunspots out here currently facing the Earth. 3901 here. Uh, hard to say what this one's up to. I did produce some M flare activity here recently, uh, but it looks like it's been going through a little decaying stage. Uh, so I'm not for certain if this is going to produce any further stronger flares. We'll have to watch that. Uh, also, uh, a couple newer areas out there on the eastern limb, but really not all that impressed with the uh, current sunspot activity. I don't see anything of any major noteworthy value for right now. Uh, minimal activity there for the auroras. Not really seeing anything in solar storms. Um, Storm Prediction Center. Not a whole lot of severe weather out here for now. Quick glance here at the GFS models uh, shows that storm system hit the California area and it's going to sit there for a couple days slamming California and uh, Southern California may get in on a little bit more rain early next week on Monday. Uh, but it's going to be a, going to be a dandy of a, a few days out here. I'm kind of curious to see <coughs> how much rainfall we get potentially there into the first week of December. We got another system coming in looks pretty strong there for northern california in fact rainfall rates are pretty heavy so we'll check back on that of course as we get closer to the time period have yourself a good evening folks not quite back to normal it's it's one of those lingering systems uh, just can't kick it out of my system here no matter what i've tried it's still stuck down in my upper respiratory area have a good night. We'll catch you guys back out here tomorrow sometime. Stay safe, folks.